Have you ever wondered how jewels get onto celebrities on the red carpet? Well, I'm here in Cannes with Degra Sogono to find out how the jewellery goes from display case right onto the red carpet. So we're going to go behind the scenes for a day with Degra Sogono at the Cannes Film Festival. Cannes is the second most important media event in the world after the Olympics. And every year for 12 days, some 200,000 people from the industry, the celebrities themselves, and of course the fans, descend on this small seaside town to see what is happening on the red carpet. Each year, Degli Sogono sets up its terrace at the Hotel Martinez. And here there's a laid back atmosphere where they can invite their celebrities, do photo shoots, and of course their clients. We are receiving all the friends from all over the world. Uh, we received clients, which they were my friend, they became clients, and the clients became friends. So they are here already since yesterday, and uh, so you have to entertain them. You have to have nice lunches, nice dinner, and um, being late during the night, you know, can is glamour. People that like to spend a lot of time outside in the night and dance, drink, and uh, is a way to introduce the brand to some clients they don't know the brand yet. Uh, Cannes is important because it's a mix of, of uh, business and uh, enjoyment, glamour. This year, like any other year, we, we bring uh, a very good stock. And of course, we bring some novelty, uh, mainly what we presented during the Basel Fair and uh, the unique pieces. It's a brand image to start with. Cannes is not really I never took the, the can during the film festival as a business. I mainly took it as a brand image. While most of the big name celebrities have already decided what they're going to wear on the red carpet with the help of their stylists, there are often last minute changes. So brands like Degli Sovereignor make sure that they have a wide selection to tempt the celebrities to find something that will go perfectly with that dress. Cara, I would say she likes animals, she would like like shapes and like black and something, I mean something really, really, really which is reflecting your personality because she needs to feel comfortable wearing them. Both dresses and jewellery has to be one big outfit. We have to make sure that both of it fits together. It's like something you don't even see. It's something that you don't even feel. It's something that is part of your body when you wear them. And then of course there are the parties. So it's not all hard work. And the parties are an important part of Degas Sogano's lifestyle and the image that they're selling. Degas Sogano offers their clients something that money alone can't buy. They love to come to our party because they know I'm a bit, uh, a bit crazy. I'm the, I like to have fun. So I'm the first one, like any other years, probably starting dancing and uh, going, um, inviting uh, everybody to, to, to Party. One of the biggest parties at Cannes is Degris Sogano's annual bash at the Eden Rock Hotel. And here, celebrities as well as Degris Sogano's clients mingle in this fairy tale setting and create an evening that no one will forget. Happy to be here with this good looking man. She's with us since a couple of years. She was there last year. She will be again here um, this year. And then we'll, you will see a lot of uh, celebrities, uh, you will find a lot of top models and um, a lot of uh, interesting people. I can think of few better places to show the glamorous side of jewellery than the Cannes Film Festival. If you want to know all that's happening in the world of jewellery and watches, visit my website, thejewelleryeditor.com.